if you recognize this sound, then you have encountered Cedric Kadeni, the producer who has worked with Nishinsky, King Kaka, Hat the Band, Saudi Soul, and other top tier artists. For more than a decade, Cedric Kadeni has been the man behind hit after hit by Kenya's top musicians. While he was once simply an unknown name in the credit section of artist music catalogues, Sedo has risen to become a renowned producer, director and composer who brings musicians' ideas to life and etches them into musical history. My name is Cedric uh, Kadeng. When I came to Nairobi the first time, uh, I did a lot of gospel music with uh, Melmark Studios. Uh, I worked with the uh, uh, Pastor T, you know, he's, he was called Mr. T back then, he's now Pastor T. I uh, worked with guys like Kevo Youth, uh, Maximum Melodies, and many others. Most of my catalogue at that time was gospel. And then after that, I worked with Saudi Soul as a music director. I was doing stuff for, stu for studio, a bit of studio work, but mostly live performances. And then after that, I started uh, Pacho Entertainment with uh, Nyboy. Pacho is my baby together with Naiboy. <laughs> we are co-owners of the, of, of the label. So there I worked with many artists, uh, Frasha, King Kaka, um, Amos and Josh, Timmy T that had the band, <laughs> uh, and many more. A lot of the songs we were doing at that time were songs for the streets, you know. So um, I, I was not very discriminatory at that time. You know, anyone who had a good good song and they had some money, let's work, let's try and make things work. And then after that time I met Yashinsky and then I decided to focus on you know one artist at a time so that I can give myself and them value. So for Yashinsky I was doing both uh, studio work and live performance. So I was like music director for both studio and uh, stage. Sedo is now looking to come out from behind the scenes and become a star himself. In August 2022, Sedo released a 15-track album which features Kenyan artists like Nyashinsky, Calligraph, Hat the Band, Karun, Naiboy, Saru and regional sensations like Tanzania's Aisley and Uganda's Rema Namakula. We planned it for about a year, you know, because what I need to sure about. So first it's a new product, a producer is creating an album. How is that going to be like, you know, were we going to do it local or regionally or all of Africa? And what were the logistics around that? It will be to create, you know, um, the specific artists who want to collaborate now, na kwanini, and how, what will be the plan, you know, how do we move around? Creating an album and producing it is not easy or cheap. There are many parts, like figuring out a budget, the recording space, the mixing and mastering, timelines and schedules to be adhered to, and so on. We had to either book a hotel for some artists, Wakujiapo, so that we just focus on creating at that time. Um, some artists will be to get Mpaka chefs just to make sure that we're going to the right, the right food, <laughs> hospitality, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we had to repeat that in Tanzania and Uganda. So we stayed in Uganda for one month and in Tanzania for another one month. So during that time, we had to hire a place where we were staying. We had to facilitate the artists, Kukuja, Kukula, Kimotuli uh, really Wakna instrumentalists. We had to pay them, uh, other extra vocalists, songwriters, Lutualipe, Tanzania, to Kafanya Pia, the same thing. So you can imagine, there's only logistics too. Flights, accommodation, nini, nini. Sim Chezo. Nalafu, we're just about to do, the, to do the music video. So you can imagine, that's, that's going to be even another part where it's going to be even more expensive. The hardware and the software are also expensive. A production laptop, for instance, costs about 300k there. A microphone costs about 100k there or 150. Headphones are about 30k uh, or there about. Speakers are about 100k each. You need about two. You need two or four in some circumstances. There are keyboards. You know, a professional keyboard is about 300k. You know. A studio keyboard could be about a hundred and so on and so forth. You've not talked about constructing the space, acoustics, the same chaser. So if you want to have a proper professional studio, you need about a million on the average. Yeah, that should get you basic equipment to get you started. <laughs> However, if you're just making demos, even with say um, 50k, 
you can have a full setup. If you're just making demos, or like a songwriter setup where you don't need to create professional things that will go on radio, 50K should be okay. You'll have a basic setup that you can do songwriting with, but you can't do um, Grammy worth projects, you know, or projects that um, um, will you can exploit the possibilities of engineering it, you know, to world class levels. Basic equipment can't cut it. To make seduction, Sedo relied on his savings and the relationships he has cultivated in the industry through the years. I had to put aside some money. I had a partnership with Ziki Media who helped me facilitate uh, uh, some of the costs come travels. They deal with a lot of music and distribution in the, in the business of music. Partnership yet to eliminate a big chunk of Mzigo I could spend and all my money and all my savings. They say you have to spend money to make money. And artists who want to record music first have to pay studio fees before their songs can start earning them some cash. In Ategemena, what you want to achieve? We had a standard charge for production. So let's say it would cost you what 20K to 50K. That, um, that would have determined the kind of resources to look at to me for project yako. So kama tulikuwa na in-house resources that we needed to use kama let's say uh, extra engineering, unataka guitarist, unataka BGVs wa kurekodia kitu. So it, it would fall like between the 20 na 50k. But then kuna more services and yeah, zina involve the process ya kumek mziki. You know, kuna watu uh, watataka ku uh, work in a different way other than just coming to studio, booking a session and doing it. Kuna wala nataka you work with them help them discover songs zenye wanafanya, help them get the right songwriters or wasaidia who get the ideas out of them. I love to get into the recording process, then you'll have to wait kidogo, listen to the songs and weigh them, then read it back again, record tenor, do the corrections. So that would take a bit more time and so it would, and, and money, exactly. So some would cost 100 even, even 200, even three, depending on what someone wants to achieve. In an era where collaborations have become the creative force that drives music, artists now sign agreements on how to split the money made from the records. The agreements are called split sheets, and they identify each contributor and state ownership percentages among them. So music has a document called a split sheet, which says this person did this, and to this extent. And this person, uh, uh, so it's split into broadly two categories, the creative aspects and the business aspects. So if you facilitated me, I came to you and told you I have this dream, I want to be Amsani, you know, and I want you to help me, but I don't have money. So you tell me, I know a producer, uh, I'll talk to him and pay him, uh, you don't worry, you just show up. So me, I show up into the studio, I come up with a song, I record it, the producer helps me, and then you pay for the project. Two co-players were tattoo. Two creatives and one business person. So we have to figure out between the three of us how we would like that money to be distributed when it comes. Because Mimi have to make some money because I wrote the song. The producer has to make some money because we used their, we to to me creativity, it's a beat and so on and so forth. And after where we will invest some money onto it. So that split sheet will say um, between the three of us, let's say, to see Bagwe, Kilam Tolifanya equal thing, to find Pata Kilam to 30%. So uh, the song goes out, and Afu, you make on digital platforms where you can measure plays. You can say this number of plays equals to this amount of money, or people can advertise using that content. So money has been collected through an agency, so that agency will call and say, Kulem Tuana, only title did, we have some money. So when, the, we, when we go there, to a document tasema, distribute that money between the three people based on how to look at my sign up. So that's a split sheet.